Okay, here's some problems from section 2.3 homework. It says use the table below uh, for the following problems. Okay, it gives you the uh, number of years since 1990. Okay, so we'll, if t equals 0 is 1990, this would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And here's the CPU speed of megahertz. And it says find the power function of best fit. Well, uh, we just go to the power sheet. Power sheet, okay, it's up up a little bit here, right after all these polynomial types, there's power. And then you put in your data points and click the Get Equation button, and you'll get your equation, the power equation. All power equations are monotonic, by the way, which means they only go in one direction. Either they keep on going up or they keep on going down. This one's going up, and that equation is right here y equals 0.0784x raised to the 4.0596 power. Very close to like a quartic equation, but it doesn't have the other terms that make it go up and down. This is just going to go up. So anyway, once you get that uh, equation in there, correlation coefficient is very high, close to positive 1, so it's a strong positive correlation. And uh, then it wants to know uh, use the uh, model to predict when the processor speed would be 4000. Well, processor speed is the y value, so just put the y value in for y right here, 4000, and you'll get the x value. So that's 14.44 years after 1990, so about the year 2004. And then it also asks, uh, according to the model, what will the processor be in the year 2010? Well, if 1990 is t equals 0, 2010 is 20 years later. Time is an x value, so put 20 in for the x. If you put 20 in for the x, you get 15,001. So that's what the processor speed should have been back in the year 2010. 2 is the same type of thing. It just gives you the equation. So your, your a, your number in front, would be a 222.05, and your b would be 2.8787. And then you just answer these questions. 3 is a power equation also. See, the, the, the power is not a whole number which makes it a power equation. So it's a power of 1.3, but there's an extra junk right here. Now to do this problem, go to the power sheet like we were on, but then you, there's extra uh, types of power equations farther to the right. This one won't do it because uh, while it has a constant at the end, it, it, there's more stuff in here than just an x in the parentheses. So go a little bit farther to the right, and you'll get to this one, which um, has everything you need. So the A in this one would be 3. The B, the number inside the parentheses, is minus 2. The C, the exponent, is 1.3. And the constant at the end, 30. That's the constant at the end, so you just put 30 in. And then it wants to know um, how, many, uh, how many tries on a test do you need until the score is 100. And, the, uh, and then on this problem, uh, uh, no, it's not number of tries, number of hours study. How many number of hours study do you need? Well, that's the x is what you're looking for. And you put the y value in for uh, the 100 in for the y value, your score on the test. So 100 in for y, and so we just put the 100 in for y right here, and you get 13.279. So you'd, this is number of hours that you'd need to study, so you'd need to study for about 13.28 hours. And that's it with those.